yeah what's up guys uh, good morning i or good afternoon or good evening wherever you're watching from the time now is around 5 30 kenyan time 5 30 a.m i've uh, gotten an emergency call to travel to yeah so guys i'm now walking to the bus station it's still very early in the morning and cold let me show you how the environment looks like yeah so as you can see people are on their normal duties getting ready to go to work or church because it's on a sunday yeah so as you can see people are hustling others are going to church yeah, so this is the route that i normally use to go to the bus station let me show you yeah that's how it looks and of course some um, buildings there yeah so i'm already at the market where the buses will be the buses that i'm going to use are the ones going to town that's nairobi town or nairobi city so let me show you how the shops or the shopping center is so you can see it's still early so people are yet to open their shops yeah so in a few minutes i'll be at the highway the nairobi thika super highway one of the beautiful roads i'm going to show you how it looks Finally, I am in the bus, plying the route of uh, Thika Road to Nairobi CBD, where we'll be able to catch our next bus. So that's the beautiful Thika Super Highway. This is on Sunday, so normally on Sunday, cars are not uh, many because it's like a holiday. So most of the people who are in the bus or maybe using these routes or maybe they are going to church or maybe they have a function that they are attending. But uh, this is the best time if you want to travel along this route to just experience the beautiful uh, road and also maybe if you have uh, to... because there's no traffic literally. Yeah, so that's the headquarters of the general service unit on your right this but basically along the, this route you'll be able to see nice some the headquarters especially regarding the police forces because you'll be able to see the kenya hair base in uh, in uh, Ma madare north it's just a junction along this route there's also the gsu also the national traffic police headquarters and also the kenya police services also the NYS National Youth Services they also have an headquarters here yeah so we are in the outskirts of the city at Karyoko market uh, it's one of the biggest market in Nairobi I think it's second to Mudurwa uh, or Kikom Mudurwa and Kikomba market yeah so this is the downtown of this Nairobi CBD yeah Yeah, buses are, and people have just uh, started to stream in the town. Yeah, so I think those are some of the workers trying to see if they can be able to uh, purchase, sell some of the stuff. And while others are going to, to church. Yeah, so that's the beautiful graffiti of the buses in Mat or Matatu here in Nairobi. Ma Nairobi is famous for its Matatu culture. As uh, you've uh, recited, so th th that's one of the of the buses. 
So this is the route that goes to railways bus station. That's where we're going to get our bus going to Nakuru. Yeah, so as you can see, there are so many uh, buses or vans going to North Rift because this is actually one of the uh, bus terminus. Finally, we made it to Isikoch uh, bus terminus. Isikoch is one of the reliable buses. I would advise if you are going to ply the route of the North Rift. There are so many routes that goes to those places. So if you're going either to Eldoret, Kitale, Kisumu, Sirare, Kisi, yeah, and those places, yeah, I would say recommend Isikocha as one of the buses to go to because number one, they are very reliable. Yes, the cost may be a bit high, but it's worth it. The comfort, also in case of any accident, yeah, they'll be able to, we'll, at least you'll be able to get an alternative. Maybe the downside of it is just that they are very slow, which is also a, a pro because if uh, you use other buses or the vans that reaches that your destination very early, what if you don't know a place where you can go to spend the night, which, or if you have to look for an hotel, that's also an added cost. But however, if you try, as for me, I normally do easy coach because when you reach there, your destination at least they have a place that you can be able to stay until uh, morning then you can go on, on your activities so guys i've already arrived at the bus station so here is uh, my ticket uh, it's but i don't know whether you can be able to see it the bus uh, let me show you so as you can see the ac coach that's the bus that I'm going to use. Yeah, so it has a beehive of activities. There are so many buses that you can use. I'll be able to show you. Given that you're going to go for a long journey, I decided to go to a washroom. So this is how the washrooms of uh, this bus company looks like. Yeah, I think it's faulty. That's why the flashing no longer work. So you have, after you've uh, relieved yourself, you have to clean your mess by uh, manually putting that water inside the hole. Yeah, so those are among the buses of alternative companies that you may consider. There's also uh, Galaxy, so Galaxy bus.
the Nairobi South Africa. Life lessons go on in the dust. The other 11 is something from nothing. Life lessons go on in the dust. The other 11 is something from nothing. Life lessons go on in the dust. The other 11 is something from nothing. Life changes just open the door. One thing certain, I'll always be your Some of the some of these buildings are in the former. Some of the buildings in this place, I would say, they're a bit old. Most of the new buildings that are now being currently constructed in Nairobi are in the, I'll say, Westlands area, and also Upper Hill. So up there, you're seeing is the famous Nairobi Expressway. <coughs> Yeah, so if you're coming from the airport to maybe Westland, so maybe the CBD, the fastest routes, if you want to avoid uh, traffic, you can always consider that uh, expressway, but it's a toll. Uh, it's not a free, but it's a toll. Uh, there's a toll. That fee that you have to pay, I think it's about $3, so maybe 300 Kenya shillings. That's the Kenya Parliament uh, buildings in the background that's where the senate and the national assembly uh, sits as you can see uh, nairobi is really beautiful very serene and some of the trees that have been uh, planted and others are being uh, uh, manicured and yeah, I'm seeing maybe the current government, it should maybe the former Nairobi Metropolitan Authority tried to do a commendable job in trying to beautify the county. So maybe the owners now is in the current regime. That's now the county government to ensure that they get to maintain or maybe even supersede what the prior regime had done. So guys, buckle up and enjoy this journey. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Is it a journey that maybe you can consider doing or not? Yeah, so now we are gearing towards the Westlands area. So, But before then, in the background what you are seeing is where I studied the Nairobi University Towers. For those of you who may not know, I was a student of Nairobi University, uh, so that's I'm proud to see my school. It gives me goosebumps and some memories being in that school. Yeah, I wanted also to show you if it's the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. It's also somewhere here, one of the oldest radio stations owned by the government that is in here so as you can see something like a satellite that's where the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation uh, is yeah so it was formerly called uh, Voice of Kenya by the colonialist but since then we've got an independence they renamed to Kenya Broadcasting Corporations yeah so that what you're seeing is just uh, the expressway and also joining the Fika Road. So finally we made to Westlands area. As you can see the buildings are a bit uh, different and uh, different in terms of their contemporary. 
unlike the ones that you are seeing in the downtown area or maybe in the central business district. So that's the famous Kempinski Hotel. I'll say one of the expensive hotels to maybe dine and live or even stay in Nairobi. That's where the former president of the US, Barack Obama, stayed when he visited the first time that he visited or maybe yeah the first time that he visited kenya as the sitting president so that's uh, the cbd the mini cbd of the westlands area so if you want to go to westlands that's the route that you can use on your left <laughs> Some people were saying that in Kenya we do not have jacaranda trees, so we have demystified that fact as you can see on your right, depending on where you are watching this from, you can be able to see jacaranda trees uh, blooming or is it blossoming with their beautiful lavender colors or is it uh, pink or purple? I'm uh, colorblind or maybe I do not know the difference of those two colors but let's go with purple for now yeah so this is uh, now we've made it to the beautiful Kijabi forest it's one of the beautiful uh, forests here in Kenya I would uh, say so but don't uh, misquote me the reason why I like this place are well pruned and uh, maintained so this is the beautiful uh, Mount Longonot uh, viewpoint yeah I would imagine how these people get to enjoy these views every morning uh, also getting to see like Naivasha in the background yeah so we have made it to Nakuru County this is the outskirts of the of the county it's one of the holiday destinations if you are considering a safari there's uh, Saisambu Conservancy here also the Dalamea farm on the on your right and also this is the place that where I got to do my attachment uh, when I was in my fourth year. I'll be able to show you, as you can see from your left, that's where I got to do my attachment. It was here in Ivasha, the Calro Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization here in Kenya. So as you can see, the landscape is so beautiful for a safari. If you're someone, if you want to consider so...
we are now approaching the outskirts of Nakuru city now it's no longer a town but it's been branded as a city it's been given that status it's one of the recent awarded cities here in Kenya we now have uh, four cities that's Nairobi Mombasa Kisumu and now Nakuru and the next one in line are uh, Eldoret city and Kisi yeah so I would want to say this is one of the beautiful cities that I've been to so far I know that status for the longest time has been Eldoret and now it went to Kisumu but I think those people who are, who are giving those awards are yet to visit Nakuru so kudos to the current governor or maybe the former ones that they get to beautify this area at least they have a place where you can go and do a picnic or maybe you can just relax and see cars moving by it has uh, four lanes this the size that's the cars coming from uh, maybe Eldoret along the Eldoret Malaba Highway or is formerly one of one of the uh, roads called uh, the no Great North Road and now the ones that's going to Nairobi. So uh, like I'd mentioned we got a setback. Our car was hit by a rock tri uh, driver. He was a drunk one. So he got to hit uh, the back of our bus. So one of the windows got uh, shattered as you can see the glass being broken. But luckily enough no one was hurt. So the driver of that truck had to pay for the damages but luckily enough the traffic police officers were there in time. The, the guy tried to escape by running away but at least we were able to catch him in time. Yeah so that's one of the buses, the AC coach buses. This is going to uh, our destination but i didn't get to use this one it's one of the beautiful uh, buses because it's a mercedes one which i didn't get to have this one so let's enjoy the beautiful scenery of nakuru city Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten. I ran away with my life fast forward, never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you.
lesson The other eleven get something from nothing Life lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven get something from nothing Life lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven get something from nothing Life changes just open the door But one thing certain, I'll always be
guys, that's the beautiful Nakuru city. We've now reached our destination where the bus is going to highlight or alight. Yeah, so it's the easy coach bus uh, terminus. Yeah, so th let me leave you with these beautiful scenes that we did capture along the way. Yeah, so I hope you did get to enjoy this trip. Yeah, I would say despite the mishap of where we got a small uh, accident, the journey was pretty amazing. I can't wait to explore more of this city. So if you are a resident of this place and you have places that you could recommend for us to visit aside from the Na Nakuru National Park, the famous Great Rift lakes, that's Lake Elementaita, Lake Naivasha and Lake Nakuru the flamingos the mount longo not trek yeah i know this is also a farming community so as you can see from a distance this is the plantation of wheat yeah so maybe we can visit one or two farmers yeah so uh i can't wait to explore more of this uh, town if uh, you liked this video please share comment subscribe and also share with your colleagues your friends and family and if uh, there's some of the videos that you would want us to start focusing on don't feel shy to reach us uh, or reach me out on my socials but uh, i also want to mention that a fun fact about this county is that it is a cosmopolitan county one of the largest actually in the country among the largest counties in terms of population it has close to over seven constituencies yeah you the most of the nations that resides in this place are the kikuyus the Kalenjins and the Kisis and other tribes I would say basically almost all of the tribes are located all the nations I want to avoid the world tribes all the nations are located in this place I would say it's one of the it's one of the central towns or cities in the country so if you're in Akuru you could just get a, a bus or a van to pretty much any side of the country given its centrality so maybe if the government wants to relocate the seats of the the capital they could just relocate to Nakuru that's why even the former president the first founding father of this nation Mzee Jomo Kenyatta liked really much this city yeah so guys thank you so much for working with me throughout this uh, journey and i will see you in the next one